Hi guys, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can mix down stems in, in mainly in FL Studio, because the way you mix down stems in FL Studio is different from the other doors out there. So your likes of Ableton and Cubase and Pro Tools have a very very simple process because each of the tracks is assigned, or each of the instruments is assigned to one track, and then the automation stuff is sort of put on top of that track. So it's very easy um to do that so if you have one track a guitar and then you underneath that you have one track uh, a piano and you copy the midi down it doesn't it copies the midi down and changes it from the from the you know the guitar to the piano and um, i'm sure this is not new to everyone that uses ableton and, and cubase and stuff but for every studio users um it does work slightly differently and it is a bit more complicated to mix down stems in fl studio um so first of all what are stems well st stems are wave mix downs of each channel so for example kick bass snare um hi-hats uh synth one synth two pad strings all on separate audio tracks so that when it's sent to a mixer or a master a masterer they can put them up on each you know they, they have the ability to tweak each sound that you know individually rather than just as a one whole sort of track um, and they would be very important for if you're submitting to labels or if you are a, a, like a ghost producer, you're producing for other people, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, or even if you, you're, you're getting remixes done, it's good to have the, the stems mixed down separate. So a bit of quick demo um, and then I'll show you how to mix down the stems um, using FL Studio. So I'll play the demo and then we'll take a look at um, how to mix down the stems. Okay, so there was a quick uh, quick demo. Um, so I've on purposely added automation into this to show you how, how to do it. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your master chain and you're going to want to remove everything. So you can either go in this like this way and then click default. I'll show you the word first. So you can go down here, you can turn them off individually here like this. Or you can click this button down here, which bypasses all the effects. Or you could just simply open up a default air chain and it gets rid of them all the next thing i would do is i'll bring the master volume down here not up here but on your mixer i'll bring it down by 6 db so if you look up here it'll show you the volume so bring it down by 6 db great stuff so now we need to prepare um now we need to repair how our, our mix to mix down so i always when making a track make sure that i've got you know each individual sound is on its own sort of individual track it makes it a lot easier at the end so what we're going to do is we're going to put all the automation to the top now to do that if you've given the wrong channel it's very very simple you hold shift in and then you write you on using the, the mouse wheel you just scroll up and that allows you to move this up and down so scroll up so we move all the automation to the top next thing what we do is we right click on this part of the automation so now if we was to mix down this whole track all that we would get is this automation nothing else so we keep all the automation highlighted and then this is the tedious part of it we have to go through each individual sound and mix it down so let's highlight this the, the full track here so then we will go to kick And then we would mix that down. So let's let's mix that down. I'll mix it down in wave. Uh, let's just uh, go onto desktop here, and we'll just call this steps. 
and then we'll call this one kick. So that's that's what you do. That'll then mix down the kick with any automation. So if any of these automations are applied to this kick, it'll mix down the automations too. So once we've done that, we just left click on that one and that mutes that one again. And we right click on this one. And this will now highlight track five, um, which is the snare. Again, we go, we go back in and snare. And this will now mix down the snare. And again, any automation selected, it'll only mix it'll it'll mix down the automations as well. So this is why when you're working through um, your tracks, it's I it's always ideal to make sure, especially in a full studio, that you don't um, you, you try to keep it as clean as you can. Um, this is the bass. So you try to keep it as clean as you can. So at the end, you can do stuff like this if you need to. You know, if you're using like pattern four for example and you have two or three things in it i would always keep them keep them separate rather than you know like do something like this i won't sort of build patterns like that i'll just keep everything on a on a, on a separate channel have its own special pattern so then mute that mute this so this one is the pad so we just go back in here and mix down the pad and again now this you, you can, this is only what 24 bars so this is very very short uh track so this is why this is going going pretty quickly um normally when you're mixing down quite big projects it's like mixing down a song uh all the time so it's like mixing down if you've got 15 separate tracks it's like mixing down 15 songs so it, it can take a bit of time and it, and it is very tedious to do this but this is the best way to get your stems mixed down in FL Studio. Um, well, this is the, the, the best way that I know. I don't know if you guys know any, a better way to do it. If you do, certainly leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely take a look at it. Um, and then finally, the guitar section. So again, we've highlighted it and we're going back into the stems and then the guitar. Finally, the guitar section. Um, so once this mixed down, then I'm going to reload it back up again, and we'll we'll bring everything back in again and see. So now we're down to the sort of SF effects. Now I will tend to put all these on one on one mix down. I won't. There's, there's no real need to separate your, your crashes from your um, reverse crashes and stuff like that. So you keep these on the same channel, but everything else I would uh, do separate. And if you're layering your bass as well, I would do them separately as well. So let's say, for example, we did layer our bass. Let's say that was our bass. One of the things you could do to mix it down is to highlight that section. That will now mix down both of these synths. So what you could do is mute that synth, mix that one down, and then mute that synth, mix that one down, and that obviously will give you um, it give you both layers to the bass. And uh, then. Finally, we use the uh, crash. So we have all the individual parts with the the uh, automation sort of built in. So now if we go back to new, uh, and we can, we can grab the stems here. Um, so we can just highlight all the stems and drag them in like so uh, and there we have all the stems in the track and then it makes it a lot easier to to mix uh, you know, the stems down including the automation as well This is also a good way as well if, if you're facing CPU issues, you know, with a synth. And if you really like the synth, you're happy with the synth, you could do this. You could mute everything, turn off all the effects, and then just mix that one down, delete the synth or the VST, and bring it back in your audio to save yourself some CPU. But then this would be perfect there now for people to, um, to mix down. 
And if you if you do bring it back in and you want to have a go at mixing this way, you could uh, one trick I'll teach you as well is to highlight all those like that. Just go into here and then click here, and then go channel routing, root selected channels, starting from this track, and it will then and every ones you've highlighted just by right there, uh, left clicking and dragging them down. We'll then highlight them all to the separate tracks here. So obviously you need a control. Then you can mix them. So that's it guys, that's how you how I mix down stems in a first studio anyway. I know it's a bit uh, more tedious than other doors out there like Cubase and stuff. It's so simple to just click mix down stems and it mix down each individual track for you. But you know each door has its advantages and disadvantages. Um, but that's it guys, so that's how you mix down stems. So if you ever asked to mix down stems or I ever ask you to, you know, if you're interested in firing stuff over to the label and ask for the stems, this is obviously the best way to do it. Again, make sure that when you're mixing down your stems, one of the key things is to turn off everything on your master bus and bring it down by 6%, uh, 6 dB, so that there's plenty of room for anyone that's mixing the track to, to do stuff to it, you know, distort it or, you know, whatever needs to be done. Um, but that, guys, is about it for this video. Thanks for watching.